We're back with another non-sport themed video. So if you're looking for the latest football cards, please uh, check back in a day or two when we get our new box in that we can open for you. But if you're interested in all things non-sports, we got two magazines to look at and one promo card. Now, um, actually four technically, but one that I'm specifically talking about. Now, Lucas, do you uh -huh. remember a long, long time ago, like last weekend, where we went to Rhode Island Comic Con? Yeah. Okay. While I was there, I actually got a custom, uh, I call it a promo card, but a custom card. I'm a big Pacific Rim and Godzilla fan, and I saw this little bad boy, Gypsy Danger fighting Godzilla. It's on metal, so it's pretty cool. I paid $3 for it. I mean, it, obviously, it's an unlicensed product, yada, 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 but I think it is super cool, and I even got the print that goes along with it in full color uh, for my Pacific Rim collection, so that was pretty cool. You never know yeah. what you're going to find at these card shows. Yeah. Now, we got the new issue of The Wrapper in, issue 295, rapidly approaching 300, and this one goes right up through January, whew, since 1978, oh man, almost as old as I am. And this, of course, is a, uh, it's like every six weeks now, they just adjusted the schedule. And what it is, is there's articles, there's classifieds, there's for sale stuff, and this is very uh, much focused, for the most part, on older cards. Uh, the cover feature is uh, the 1952 Topps Wing set, featuring all different kinds of uh, vehicles. They have an article on the Gunsmoke set that uh, tied in with the old Western TV show. Uh, Soupy Sales wallets. Uh, they have some artist focuses uh, and the seal craft discs as well. So a lot of good reading. Uh, you know, most of the articles have plenty of illustrations. Uh, if you remember from a few videos ago, I wrote two Doctor Who uh, articles. That I'm sure Lucas read and enjoyed. Anyway, uh, hopefully next issue I'm going to have an article on uh, something. No, it's going to be on uh, the toy show we went to. And I'm I just about 90% done writing one on the Philadelphia Non-Sports show. So look for that as well. And I'm also writing another article on the scoop set from the 50s. So if you like me, pick up the Rapper Magazine and get a sample issue for $2 visiting their website. So uh, make sure you check that out. Uh, it's cool. I mean, uh, last the guy who does it's awesome, and he's been doing it a long time. Uh, the website is therappermagazine.com. The rapper with the W, not with an R, so you don't go to the hip hop uh, segments. The other uh, non-sport magazine we picked up this month was the new non-sport update, another long-running uh, magazine. This one full color, uh, devoted mainly to newer sets. Uh, not a lot of historical articles or anything, no classifieds to speak of. But this has been published for many years, back to, I think, 95, I believe they started publishing. This is the December 2015 through January 2016 issue, volume 26, number 6. Now, this is one of the best covers I've ever seen for stuff I'm interested in. It is the Star Wars Battlefront cover with the Doctor Who as what? well. It's not Star Wars Battlefront. Did I say Battlefront? Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars The Force Awakens cover. And Doctor Who. I'm sorry, I got Battlefront on my mind. I just pre-ordered it at Best Buy. Um, so I think that is what I'm thinking about. So they have a nice article on the different Star Wars sets coming out for The Force Awakens, uh, including the one that's out, Journey. They have a, a high-tech set coming out. The high-tech. High-tech. They're like fancier cards. Pretty cool. They have a The Force Awakens base set, Series 1. There's an article on Ziha Bits. Perhaps the last uh, Lord of the Rings related card set, unless they do like an art one. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. News, plenty of uh, articles, upcoming sets. Finally, a United States Doctor Who set coming out, complete with patch what? cards, autographed cards, everything. Wow. Authentic costume how, relics. How far back does it go? It goes all the way back. It includes all the Doctors up until the new one. There's Matthew Smith. There's oh. autographs by David Tennant. Is there autographs by the oldest Doctor? No. They were looking at cut signatures for him. Uh, what does that mean? They take uh, his signature off a piece of paper or something where he signed yeah. it back in the day, and they cut it and mount it on a card. Oh. That's uh, typically a signature, though. Yeah, it's still a signature. It's not going to be actually on the card, though, because uh, he passed in the late 60s, so he's been gone for quite a while. Uh, Shield issue two, uh, series two rather, and now the most important article in the history of non-sport update. No. The Philly non-sports card show. Now they have a nice pictorial about all the action, but more importantly, the second page. They have a nice picture of Lucas and Lillian that I took from the show. So uh, 
If you happen into a Barnes & Noble in your town and you pick up the non-sport update, uh, make Dad, sure you check that out and you can tell the person next to you that you know those people. Oh, I thought somewhere you put, like, my... Hmm? I thought somewhere you put, like, my kids. How do I... My kids? Oh. No. <laughs> Is that my kids? Uh, more Doctor Who, more Doctor Who. Next issue of uh, Non-Sport Update uh, features The Walking Dead on the cover uh, with promo cards of Season 4 of The Walking Dead and Star Trek 50th Anniversary. So pretty cool there. Now, Non-Sport Update always comes with a detachable, separate, paper-bound. Uh, this is like kind of newsprint, maybe a step up from newsprint. And this is just a price guide to let you know what your cards are worth. So if you're buying, selling, or trading, you kind of have a good idea of what you're looking for. They also included three promo cards this month. Uh, they have the Japanese Horror 3D card, which uh, I don't know how well that's going to come out on uh, 3D. They have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, and that is promo card P2. This is super weird. And a lo The Hobbit. I uh, started to say Lord of the Rings. The Hobbit, and that is promo card numero 9 -o. So uh, I believe there are a couple different Hobbit ones uh, in this issue. So collect them all. Buy multiple issues. I'm sure non-sport update will not tell you that that's a bad idea. Whew, man, my brain just went fuzzy, fuzzy. All right. So that's I it. I thought you said that there was one Pacific promo card. There was. Oh, it yeah. was the specific Pacific Rim oh, Godzilla card. Oh, the Pacific card. Pacific Rim. So that's very cool. I mean, again, unlicensed, but it's going right over there onto my Pacific Rim collection. Which he has tons of toys. Tons of toys. Uh, bigger toys. Bigger toys. If I'm so motivated, Boxes. right now you'll be seeing a little picture of the collection uh, instead of me talking. But if I forget, then uh, I'll try to get that next time. I'll remind so, you. You'll remind me. So that is it for us uh, for this non-sport themed one. Uh, please check out these magazines. I know the internet provides a lot of information, but there's something about having it and reading it, holding it, tangible, feeling it, uh, especially if you collect things. It, it's great to support these guys in their publishing adventures. Um, go to their website. You can buy, try a sample issue. You can order. You can check out articles, uh, forums, all kinds of stuff. I'm on the forums. I'm doing trading uh, of non-sports stuff, trying to complete my Star Wars collection. So... If you're on the forums, uh, feel free to say hi. So that's it for us for now. We're going to be back real soon uh, with a Star Wars Galaxy Retro Box Break. This is going to be Series 2 of Star Wars Galaxy. And I have a full box that we're going to open up and uh, see what we get. Yep. See you guys later. As always, I'm Matt. And I'm Lucas. Bye. Bye.